May 25th, 2015. Jessica Hepner arrives in St. John's from a flight from Halifax International Airport. She takes a taxi to the Sheraton Hotel in St. John's. But why was she here? And more importantly, where did she go? There's no flight records to suggest she's left. Police emergency. Three days after Jessica Hepner came to St. John's, a call came into the Royal Newfoundland Constabulary in St. John's. And when was Jessica last seen? A man named Norbert Kaza says he was traveling with the 21 year old. He returned to Ontario. Jessica Hepner did not. It was a phone call that was made between him and a civilian member in our communication center. We tried to follow up on the phone numbers he provided uh, unsuccessfully. At the Sheraton Hotel, they tell police Jessica Hepner had booked one night there. The next day, the 26th, she reserved another night's stay. But Jessica Hepner would never return to sleep there a second night. The fact that she was a missing person, we gained entry to the hotel room. At which time we found two suitcases and a laptop with her personal belongings. They're more or less uh, the exact same way as they're uh, portrayed right now. One was nicely packed, but the other one was like it was just thrown back into the suitcase. She also left behind this, a laptop and her IDs. There were some emails and some other information there, but there was nothing that was relevant to our missing person investigation. Nothing as a result uh, could assist us in locating Jessica Hepner. So where did Jessica Hepner go? Police say she left the hotel and got a cab to Topsail Road in Paradise. She was meeting a friend at a house. This is where she was last seen. At the time Jessica was here in St. John's, based on information we received, we believe that she was using at least two prepaid cell phones. She was not the subscriber. Uh, we believe the subscriber's name was fictitious. The addresses associated with these prepaid phone cell phones, we believe are also fictitious. A week or so after she was reported missing, one of those cell phones was used in Ontario. CBC has learned Hepner may have been involved in the sex trade. Whether or not that was her reason for coming here is unknown. And if she caught a plane out of St. John's, there's no record of it. There's no flight records to suggest she's left. However, uh, one of the countries that we believe she visited prior to being in Newfoundland was Germany. At the time she was here in St. John's, we believe she was using at least two prepaid credit cards. And in July of 2015, one of those credit cards were used in a transaction in Germany. On the mainland, her family is worried. No matter where she was, Jessica would always check in. It's been three years now, and they haven't heard a thing. There are warrants outstanding for her in other provinces. I have no information to even suggest that she met with foul play here in St. John's. So a real theory, uh, I do not have a real theory. Is it possible that she traveled elsewhere and left St. John's? Yes, I think that's a very uh, high possibility.